Hey, it's Adam with Eureka Process, back with another Tips and Tricks video. Today we're going to talk about troubleshooting ConnectWise Manage when you have an issue. It is a web-based platform, whether you're on-prem or working from the cloud. Um, so sometimes there's issues and you need to clear your cache, and sometimes that doesn't work. So today I'm going to talk about a couple of ways to troubleshoot the system and make sure it's working smoothly. So one of the first things you can do if you're having issues in ConnectWise Manage is to log out. Before you log back in, hit clear cache. Say, so you sure you want to clear your cache? Say yes. This is the automatic way to do that. If this doesn't work when you log back in again, I'm going to show you something you can do in Task Manager. Um, you'll see that there's ConnectWise instances in here, as well as a crash handler down here. Uh, I'm going to close this. You'll see that disappear. And I'm going to close this crash handler here as well. If there's anything else here uh, that says ConnectWise, I want to end that task as well, just to make sure that nothing is running on uh, my computer still that's related to ConnectWise. And then I'll try logging in again. Two, I want to look into manually clearing your cache, which will require us to go into File Explorer. This is something that the automatic clear cache should do. I'm in File Explorer. You can go down and click on your Start menu. Once you're in there, you can just start typing File Explorer and pull it up. That's how I got here. Next, we're going to go to the uh, disk. This is your boot drive. So you say local disk. And then I'm going to take you through the paths. So we're going to look for users. I'm going to select my user. Um, the folder that I want to go to is not here, so I'm going to type it in. I'll leave this uh, path in the description below so you can see. Um, app data is where we want to go next. And roaming. So this is going to be the path that we want to go to. You can replace your username here. Um, I want to get rid of this folder here. I've already cleared my cache. And this cache folder login and crash handler and stuff are still here. So if there's some type of issue, it's because this is still here. Um, so what I can do is delete this completely. Now, that looks pretty scary, but it's not. Uh, once we log back into ConnectWise, it'll recreate this data. This is just application data, and it's just for roaming. So it's it knows that it's going to get removed and replaced at some point. So now we can log back into the system like we normally do. And again, we'll include that path in the description below. You can just replace your username and fill this in in your C drive, and you can uh, go straight to this folder. Hopefully now you're logged in and working successfully and everything is going great. If you're in the web client and you're having any types of issues, you can open an incognito browser. Uh, for example, in Chrome, uh, you're just opening a browser that ignores a lot of the previous caching issues. That'll sometimes help you open certain things in ConnectWise Manage when you're using the web client specifically. Um, sometimes I can get Report Writer open, and I'll open it in an in incognito browser in the web client, and it'll open just fine and work. So uh, that's something to consider if you're in like a time crunch. Uh, it's a quick way to get logged into that. While you're here, uh, you can head over to our eurekaprocess.com. Check out the screening on our website. You can see what our clients are saying about us. It's a great service if you are totally busy and you need some extra help and you don't have any time to go through that interviewing process and you can't find a good qualified candidate because you feel like you're totally busy all the time. Check out the speed screening service and uh, we can help you out. Again, this has been Adam from Eureka Process. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Thanks. Have a good one. Bye.